I am a uh, music producer, entrepreneur, music executive. I am a father, a husband, and a brother, and a friend to certain people. Well, when I was growing up, you know, I was living in, in Charlestown. And at the time, you know, there wasn't a lot of uh, opportunity for somebody like myself. Um, either in music or in business. And, you know, I'll say somebody like myself because, you know, I grew up as a, an illegal immigrant. You know, I couldn't get a job, I couldn't do anything. Um, basically, you know, I couldn't even get a driver's license or anything like that. So, everything pretty much started to... Um, to get under my skin because there was just so much, so many things out there that I couldn't take advantage of. Eventually, you know, figured out that if I was gonna be good at anything and I was gonna like, you know, make my own money without like, doing anything illegally, it was gonna have to be through music. When I was in high school, there was something that kind of stuck with me as of when I got out of it. Um, my teachers in um, television production would say to me, preparation plus opportunity equals success. So that, you know, if you're prepared and the opportunity presents itself, chances are you're gonna be good at it and you're gonna succeed at whatever it is that you're gonna do. And the way that I kinda, you could say, prepare myself for that is that I dug into everything. I wasn't just making beats. I was also engineering. I wasn't just engineering. I was also um, doing videos and video editing and production, video production. Um, and not only was I making beats, I was also writing the songs to go along with those beats and writing songs for other people to sing and do things like that. And later when that opportunity came and, you know, basically, not that it came, but I fucking looked for it. <laughs> you know, I moved to New York and I was out there basically grinding, hustling, you know, trying to network and meet different people. Um, it was, um... It was, it was tough days because like, you know, most of the time I didn't have money to eat. I had to call my boys in Boston and be like, yo, can you buy me some pizza, some Domino's and, you know, fucking pay with your credit card and shit. And they were like, do that. And that's how I got by for, you know, many months out there. Um, cause I couldn't get a job. So basically, you know, that's kind of like how I got my shot. One day I met this guy that knew another guy that knew another guy and you know, oh they're looking for an engineer, oh shit, well I can do that too. So you know, it didn't matter like, you know, what they needed. If they needed something, I was going to be qualified for it because I was, I've been working, you know, towards that goal to be ready for whatever presented itself. Life for me right now, you know, like I, I, I enjoy doing music, I, I'm, I'm passionate about it. I love my family, I love my kids, I love my wife, I, I love, you know, just being surrounded by people who are trying to achieve their own dreams and goals. When people think of me, I want them to think of someone that came from the bottom up. Somebody that's continuing to, to evolve and, and develop and become better. A better person, a better man, just like, better overall. And I want people to look at me as an example of what they can do one day. You know, we were just talking about the music and what I've done in music. But, you know, I have plans to open up several restaurants in the next few months. And, like, big time things, like, you know. And, you know, on a nightclub, publishing company, I got different songwriters signed under me. So, I think that. In time, I want people to look at me like somebody that they can aspire to be like. And I say that in the most humble way, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to like sound like I'm the shit or anything, because I'm not. I'm far from it. And I really feel that way, and that's one of the things that keeps me grounded and keeps me trying to get better. You know, people love my music. Sometimes I fucking hate it. You know, that's just, you know. Sometimes I feel like everybody's a fool and I'm like fucking getting away with something I'm not supposed to, you know what I mean? Because I look, on my, I hear my music and I think it can be so much better. And till this day I don't feel like I've accomplished and I don't think like I'm delivering or working to my full potential, you know? So, I think that that's the way I want to be looked at. Somebody that's always trying to reinvent himself, somebody that's 
constantly trying to do more, expand, and um, change the game. <laughs>